I'm Derek Paul. I'm going to show you three ways to connect the Captor X to a combo amp. I want to jump straight into this video by saying this isn't a sponsored video. I bought the Captor X used on Reverb and I'm going to show you A, how to connect the Captor X to a combo amp. It's also how you connect it to any amp and B, how you can use it. So I use it to play my Fender Hot Rod Deluxe through headphones silently. It's great to be able to play my tube amp silently through headphones, so to do that you just disconnect the hot rod speaker and plug a speaker cable, yeah it has to be a speaker cable, from the amp speaker output to the Captor X speaker in. That's marked with a red ring. It's as simple as that. One thing to be aware of though is the output on the front of the Captor X. Set the dial so that you don't overload the signal and also use the high and low switch. I find that low works best for me at the moment. Now of course the Captor X is also an attenuator or a power soak which means you can turn the tube amp up but the output from the speaker is at bedroom levels whilst giving you the full tone from the power and preamp tubes. To do this connect a speaker extender cable to the amp speaker and plug it into the Captor X speaker out. It's as simple as that. Then adjust the attenuation you require at the back of the Captor X. I've got mine set on low and it works great at bedroom levels. Of course you can also adjust the amp's main volume now to suit. The beauty of the first two connections is that you can run them both together. That's if you wanted to. Now to record the Captor X you can run two XLRs from the back of the Captor X, it's great to record in stereo, into two inputs of your audio interface. The benefit of this is that the Captor X software has stereo reverbs etc and also the twin tracker feature. The Captor X also has an app for your iPhone or for your phone that connects via Bluetooth so you can adjust reverb and activate the twin tracker and even adjust cab sims on the fly. The third connection is from the Captor X micro USB port into your PC or Mac. This allows you to use the software to set up and import your own cab IRs. I bought two initially, the Fender A-Type 1x12 open back speaker SIM, which is the original speaker in the hot rod, and the 1x12 65W open back Celestian cream back SIM. So I can use my amp to record silently, but using the original speaker sound, or the cream back sound as I've got the Creamback speaker installed in the amp currently. Once again, the beauty of that is that you can actually use all three connections at the same time. Now that's so cool. So no unplugging cables if you don't want to. Software is really powerful and comes in two different guises. Three if you include the Bluetooth to your phone. The editor software for the Captor X and the plugin for your door, which is a free download as long as you buy one cab sim. I paid around 11 bucks per cab sim from Celestian's website, but there's plenty of them out there. There are some benefits though to buying the two notes ones. It was just that the A-type speaker sim that I ordered wasn't available from them when I purchased it. And they're so easy to install and switchable from the Captor X. So I have the A-type speaker on selection one and the Creamback speaker on selection two.
been using the Capture X to record the guitar parts on my videos for a while now, and it works perfectly, because I can record silently if I want to, or I can attenuate the amp to record it using my Behringer SM57 clone. It's a great choice to have, and if I'm not using the speaker on the amp, I can just unplug it for silent recording or silent practice. Captor X is really powerful and really flexible, and of course, cab sims these days are so useful. The Two Notes IRs also have the ability to place different virtual mics in front of the speakers and move them around to get the best sound, something that might be lacking if you use a third party IR, so that's just something to be aware of. You can also put your cab in different virtual spaces and rooms, so there are so many options to get the sound you're looking for, and there are plenty of different videos out there on YouTube regarding that. However, I hope this video helped you out. I use it all the time, and it's something I should have bought, to be honest, years ago. But if you've got any questions, just let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys down there. Cheers. Mm -hmm.